Hillary Duff paid tribute to her ex-boyfriend Aaron Carter in a touching Instagram post Saturday evening, following the shocking announcement of the singer and actor's death. Carter, 34, the brother of famed pop icon and Backstreet Boys singer Nick Carter, has been found dead in his bathtub at his home in Lancaster, Calif. Duff, who famously dated Carter in the early 2000s, wrote. For Aaron I'm deeply sorry that life was so hard for you and that you had to struggle in front of the whole world. You had a charm that was absolutely effervescent boy did my teenage self love you dearly. Sending love to your family at this time. Rest easy. Carter and Duff dated on and off between 2001 and 2003 when they were barely teenagers. Carter even appeared in an episode of Duff's famous Disney Channel sitcom, Lizzie McGuire. They were involved in a tumultuous romance, with Aaron also alleged to be dating Lindsay Lohan at the same time. This led to a reported feud between the two actresses. In 2003, the young couple broke up for good over rumors that Aaron cheated on the Lizzie McGuire star. Several other celebrities joined with Duff in tribute to the late singer. New Kids on the Block released a statement on their Instagram to honor the singer. The band wrote, We are shocked and saddened about the sudden passing of Aaron Carter. Sending prayers to the Carter family. Rest in peace Aaron. Courtney Stodden also shared a tribute to Aaron on her Instagram writing, He called me, confided, but I stepped away due to threats by surrounding people. I hope he'd heal, but now he's at peace I'm so gutted number ripper onkerter number rip number too young. Law enforcement said they received a 911 call at 11 a.m. on Saturday, saying a male had drowned in the tub. They were contacted by a house sitter who had found his body, the sheriff's department told DailyMail.com. Homicide detectives have been dispatched to the scene, but there is no information or evidence of foul play at this time. Emergency services have been spotted outside Carter's Lancaster home, which has been cordoned off with police tape. A coroner was seen removing Carter's body from the home later Saturday. Carter, who opened for the Backstreet Boys on a 1997 tour, shot to fame in the 90s, releasing four studio albums, starting with his self-titled debut album in 1997, when he was only nine years old. The 34-year-old notably battled addiction for many years, facing legal troubles and entering rehabilitation while continuing with his music career, according to E. He also publicly feuded with many, including his brother Nick, whom he accused of trying to put him under a conservatorship, similar to the one placed on Britney Spears. In 2019, he revealed on the doctors that he was diagnosed with multiple personality disorder, schizophrenia, acute anxiety and manic depression, according to CNN. The troubled celebrity is survived by his son Prince. Prince's mother and on-again off-again girlfriend, Melanie Martin, posted to TikTok crying just minutes after the announcement. Martin can be seen driving while crying into the camera which is filming the short video. She released a statement later Saturday. My fiancé Aaron Carter has passed away. I love Aaron with all my heart and it's going to be a journey to raise a son without a father. Please respect the privacy of my family as we come to terms with the loss of someone we love greatly. We are still in the process of accepting this unfortunate reality. Your thoughts and prayers are greatly appreciated. In the embattled rapper's last performance before his untimely death, he can be heard singing that he'll be gone, but it's not for long. The video was posted to Instagram just a day before the shock announcement. Martin was spotted later Saturday in tears arriving at Carter's Lancaster home. Carter has two sisters, one of which is his twin, Angel Ann Leslie, who passed away in 2012 at the age of 25 from a drug overdose. Carter was pulled over on suspicion of DUI on Tuesday last week after his on-off girlfriend Melanie Martin called the police with the embattled singer later cleared of any wrongdoing. TMZ reported that the I Want Candy hitmaker was driving an RV in Antelope Valley around 10.45 a.m. when police got a call about a driver possibly driving under the influence and weaving through traffic. Officers conducted field sobriety tests on the star and found him to be not under the influence. In a bizarre turn, he later locked his keys inside the RV, with photos showing the singer getting into the vehicle via the roof hatch to retrieve them. Carter's brother Nick and his Backstreet Boys bandmates have yet to comment. The group are scheduled to play the O2 in London Sunday as part of their European tour, as well as a previously scheduled appearance on QVC to promote the group's new Christmas album. 
Aaron Carter, the child star who released his first album at nine, feuded with his Backstreet Boys singer brother who threatened him with conservatorship and whose sister died of an odd at just 25 as he battled his own substance abuse demons. Aaron Carter lived a life in the spotlight that was occasionally colorful but more often filled with drama and tragedy. Carter, 34, the brother of famed pop icon and Backstreet Boys singer Nick Carter, was found dead in his bathtub at his home in Lancaster, Calif. Saturday. He was born in Tampa Bay, Florida, in 1989. Along with brother Nick, he had a twin sister, Angel, and two other sisters, BJ and Leslie. The singer grew up in the shadow of Carter's world-conquering boy band, but also tried to stake out his own claim in pop music, releasing his first record in 1997 at the age of just nine, on the same Jive Records label that led his brother to stardom. His second album, Aaron's Party, Come Get It, went triple platinum upon its 2000 release and spawned multiple charting singles, including a video for That's How I Beat Shaq, in which the singer went one-on-one -on -one with NBA great Shaquille O'Neal. However, after 2001's O Aaron sold over a million copies in the US alone, the singer failed to have the staying power that his brother's group did. He released one more album of original songs in 2002, before going 16 years without making any new music. Carter, like many young music stars of era, also pursued some acting, appearing in several Disney Channel sitcoms. He would go on to make a few appearances in motion pictures, including Fat Albert and Ella Enchanted, but his film career would sputter out, much like his singing career. Carter's life was often fodder for tabloids, not only in connection to his brother, but with his dating exploits, as he was linked to fellow child stars Hilary Duff and Lindsay Lohan. He also appeared on a reality show with his brother and three other siblings, E.S. House of Carter's in 2006. Aaron Carter reappeared in the public eye in 2009, finishing in fifth place on the ninth season of Dancing with the Stars. By 2011, the former child star had ended up in rehab at the Betty Ford Center in California. At the end of the year, he had returned to the stage, even appearing in an off-Broadway musical. His sister, Leslie, also suffered from drug addiction, dying of an overdose at just 25 years old in 2012. Leslie's death was a significant break in the relationship between the siblings, particularly Nick. Nick Carter told The Drive. Phil show in 2013 that his relationship to his four siblings had been toxic after Leslie died. He said he felt that his family blamed him for Leslie's death. Aaron accused Leslie of sexual abuse in 2019, saying she had abused him between the ages of 10 and 13 and would happen when Leslie failed to take medication for bipolar disorder. He'd also accused Nick of abuse, though his legal team denied the allegations. Aaron had multiple run-ins with the law related to substance abuse. Carter was arrested in Texas in 2008 for speeding and was found to have marijuana in his vehicle, according to Fox News. He was again arrested for driving under the influence in 2017 and reckless driving in 2021. Carter also had a turbulent romantic life. In addition to Lohan and Duff, he'd been engaged to Playboy model Kerry Ann Penich before breaking it off. In 2019, he was granted a restraining order against then-girlfriend Lena Valentina, who allegedly threatened to stab him. Melanie Martin, Carter's girlfriend at the time of his death, was arrested after an alleged domestic violence incident in which Carter was purported to be the victim. In the late 2010s, Carter attempted a comeback in several different avenues. He released a record in 2018 and had also started releasing rap music under the moniker Kid Carter. In 2020, Carter began posting on the content site OnlyFans, charging up to $100 for nude photos. By 2021, Carter was facing off with the likes of Lamar Odom in a celebrity boxing match. He lost on a second-round knockout. Later that year, he lost out on a role in the Las Vegas show Naked Boys Singing because he'd refused to take the COVID-19 vaccine. His problems with family continued that year, saying that Nick had tried to put him under a conservatorship, according to TMZ. Carter had split from fiancé Martin just one week after they welcomed their first child together. The 33-year-old pop star announced the split in a lengthy Twitter rant, claiming Melanie had deceived him by speaking to his estranged twin sister Angel behind his back. Into 2022, the troubles for Carter continued. Just this past Tuesday, he was pulled over on suspicion of DUI on Tuesday after his on-off girlfriend Melanie Martin called the police with the embattled singer later cleared of any wrongdoing. 
His last public performance came September 11, 2022, where he can be heard singing that he'll be gone, but it's not for long. The video was posted to Instagram just a day before the shock announcement.